Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at making use of the Python Turtle module, or at least getting things set up for the Python Turtle module. And it probably doesn't matter which uh, particular ID you're going to use, PyScript or Idle or something else, you may run into an issue with your integrated development environment in terms of using the Turtle module. So at the very beginning of this video, the intro that you saw where I had the Turtle uh, drawing that particular design, that was making use of uh, Python's built-in Turtle module. So let me just show you what happens if you try launching the Turtle module by default. So if we go down to the bottom where we have the interactive Python interpreter, we can go in and, and import uh, the Turtle module. So just import Turtle and hit enter. And then what we'll do is actually show the Turtle in the uh, graphical window. So we'll do turtle dot show turtle. Open print, close print, and then hit enter. And what will happen is it'll launch a uh, turtle graphics window here. And what you'll see is it'll say up here at the top Python turtle graphics and then have not responding. So there's some issues here in terms of making use of this turtle module using the default settings in PyScripter. So let me show you now how you can go about correcting this particular problem. So what we need to do in order to correct this particular problem is whenever we first launch PyScripter is go here to run and then to Python engine and then select remote TK. So instead of uh, selecting remote, we'll select remote TK. And now once we do that selection there, we shouldn't have any problems. So let's go back down to the uh, Python interactive Python interpreter at the bottom and type in import turtle. And then we'll uh, type in turtle dot show turtle, just like we did before. And now, whenever we press enter, we shouldn't have any problems. So you notice now that we've launched the Python turtle graphics. And what you'll notice is here in the very center, we have a representation of our turtle. So the default representation is just simply an arrow, but we can change that to an actual turtle shape. So the big thing to remember, if you're wanting to use PyScripter, with the turtle module, make sure you go and select run Python engine and select remote TK before you actually launch anything associated with the turtle module. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to set up idle, which is the built in or the integrated development environment that comes with Python and some of you may be using that. And if you try using the turtle module with idle, you may be running into a similar situation that we had here with PyScripter. So let's go in and, and take a look at how we can alleviate that problem in, in idle as well. All right, so what I've done is I've browsed to my idle lib directory. So in my case, this is just off of the C drive, uh, Python 2.7, which is Python 2.7, then lib and then idle lib. So I'm inside the idle lib directory. And what you'll see here is we have a lot of files, and I've scrolled down to uh, this file here that says idle. So this is just a uh, Python file, and this, this particular one launches idle without a console. So if I was to double-click on this, you can see that we now have our, our Python shell being launched here. And if we go and do the same thing that we did before, if we say import turtle, and then we hit enter, and then do turtle dot show turtle just like before, open print, close print, and hit enter, you'll notice that uh, we've now locked up um, this window as well. So again, we get the Python turtle graphics not responding. So this is what you need to do in order to correct that particular problem. So let me go ahead and close this particular uh, non-responding program. And I'm going to close this. And what we're going to do is just right-click on this particular idle file here, the one that says Python file no console over here, and then what we'll do is create a shortcut, and then we'll right click on that particular shortcut, and go to properties, and here where it has target we'll do space and then dash n, and what this will do is actually launch Python, or at least idle, without any sub processes, and this is going to prevent that crash from occurring. So go ahead and uh, click OK, and then once we click on OK, we can now launch that, and you'll see that we've launched uh, idle here, or the Python shell, with uh, no subprocess. And now we can just type in import turtle, and then hit enter, and then the turtle dot show turtle, open print, close print, enter, 
and you shouldn't have any problems. So we can move this particular window around and there's no issues. Okay, so that's basically it uh, for this particular video. Just make sure you're only using that particular shortcut if you're wanting to make use of the turtle module. If you're writing other uh, programs, you probably do not want to start up idle without any sub-processes. So our next couple of videos, we'll probably be dealing with Python and making use of Turtle and just sort of doing an introductory look at uh, programming in general. All right, so that's it.